Some time ago, we had this conversation about this new variant that is actually running around in various locations around the world. We all talked about the UK variant, the Brazilian variant, the what else again, so many types of variant out there. But then this one kind of made it rounds recently and it actually is highlighting what are the vaccines that are currently working and what are the things that needs to be done in order for we to make this variant to not be a huge, I would say, spectacle in terms of the spread infections and also the rate of hospitalizations. And this is where the data, not data, Delta COVID-19 variant actually comes into play and some people have been coming around talking about what are the studies out there that has actually led to some interesting conversations involving the vaccines that are currently in here and how they are effective against the variant and one particular article actually points this out today recently according to studies suggesting that Pfizer AstraZeneca preventing COVID-19 hospitalizations from the Delta <laughs> variant in Britain. Now, the big question that comes into play here is this. We know about AstraZeneca and AstraZeneca has been a particular vaccine under a lot of controversy concerning blood cloth despite the fact that it is considered to be deemed safe. So, all these back and forth conversations have led to AstraZeneca losing confidence over the past couple of months now. However, on the other side, like for example, the BioNTech, which is Pfizer, we don't know too much about Madonna in terms of this particular variant, but according to this article, when this particular was released, it actually says that a new study in England suggests that the BioNTech, Pfizer, and the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine are extremely good at keeping people from ending up in the hospital with COVID-19, even after just one dose. That is really fascinating because right now, a couple of countries around the world have been debating on whether to introduce the first vaccine or the first dose before introducing the second dose or doing the second dose first before going around injecting others with first and second dose so all those debates has led to this particular period where the UK started off with the, giving everyone the first dose and over time they led to the second dose and some couple of interesting openings has led to you know not many reports suggesting that there is going to be a high rate of hospitalizations but then with this particular data variant which is actually currently in the place or in a couple of areas around the world one might begin to wonder whether this variant actually does make a difference in terms of the rate of hospitalizations and this is where this particular first paragraph actually brings up some interesting news but now the data in terms of how delta variant is actually less i would say effective due to the presence of the vaccine in terms of the hospitalization is one of those interesting conversations that this article further points forth according to the public health england saying that it looked at the records of 14,000. 14,000 people with confirmed cases of COVID-19 due to the Delta variant between April 12th and June 4th, which is quite accurate in terms of the timing. And it found that two doses of each or either vaccines, which are the BioNTech and the AstraZeneca, were more than 90% effective at keeping people out of the hospital, which is really important. That is important because if you have mild cases, you tend not to get to the hospital. But if you have extreme cases, most likely you're probably going to be put in ICU. So even though you get infected by this particular virus, the symptoms won't be an emergency type of symptoms in this particular case right here. So now after one dose, in this case for Pfizer, it was 94% effective against hospitalization. 
that is really interesting in terms of the wording in here it doesn't say that in terms of mild symptoms he talks about hospitalization which is a big deal because you just want the hospitalization numbers to be low you don't want to overwhelm the healthcare system and that is the key message here and it's really important to take that into consideration however for AstraZeneca which is not really popular in specific areas around the world because of the rate of blood clots or association with the blood clots it actually shows 71 percent effectiveness and that's quite interesting and a big substantial number but compared to 94 <laughs> for just one dose 94 is really a big deal so in here ontario which is a province in canada uh, infectious disease specialist uh Bogoch says that the study is a rare is a ray of hope at the time when good news is in short supply absolutely this is great news and canada's strategy in getting first dose into the arms of as many people as possible before moving on to second dose has been controversial definitely and an earlier study from the public health england suggests a single dose is far less effective than both doses are preventing symptoms from covid19 now almost two in three canadians now have one dose of vaccine but slightly more than one in ten have both doses now canada is perverting two second dose rapidly however in or with 1.2 million people joining the full vaccination group just in the last four days so overall that is all this article actually points out i feel that this article definitely needs to show a little bit more you know data concerning the demographic of people that were exposed to this particular variant and how that was actually a big representation i would say of what this particular variant reaction with respect to the vaccine poses and based on the results where the people that were infected by this particular variant when they had the vaccine for the first dose were they showing any type of symptoms that may be concerning although we know that there are some association stories concerning heart um, abnormalities no one knows about that at all it's all controversy for now or still up in the air but overall people are kind of really curious to see how this is going to be a really great news and indeed it is concerning bringing the hospitalizations really really down and i'm really optimistic to see how this plays in the future as the rate of vaccinations increases enough for we to really beat this particular virus because all these variants are all coming down to the original parent virus and so the more variants that are out there it is actually showing that vaccines do work against this particular virus that may possibly lead to increase in hospitalization but in this case it's showing that it's decreasing the hospitalization which is great news and hopefully this actually very virus in this case doesn't lead to a different type of virus i don't think it's going to happen but the chances of that happening may actually lead to the inability of that virus to actually be effective in humans spike based on the spike interaction with our specific receptors so as long as the virus is within the spike region system of its genetic code if it goes a little bit off it might not be a huge concern however it has to be within the variant group enough for it to at least be substantially effective in not only binding but also sneaking past the him past our immune system so i'm really interested to know your thought about this particular article in the comment section down below let me hear your thought about this conversation involving BioNTech vaccine and also astrazeneca as they are really effective at bringing the hospitalizations down due to the infection of the data delta <laughs> variant and see you all on the next video all the same stay smart as always and believe in yourselves